Hi YouTube, it's Janelle. Um, it's almost two years now since I um, went completely natural, as in cut off my relaxed ends. So every, kind of on the anniversary, I like to do something a bit different with my hair. So today I've had it blow dried and flat ironed. I went to a salon to do it so I could get them to do a trim. So I could have a kind of more of a even look with the flat iron hair. And um, yeah, I quite like it. It's nice. I can see the length now, so I'll show you the back. Curled on the yeah, and it's nice. It's just a nice temporary straight look, but of course I'm going back to my curly hair as soon as I wash it. So I don't know how long this is gonna last for. I can't see it lasting. I can't see it lasting for more than maybe um, four days or so because I'm gonna to want to go to the gym, work out, wash my hair. So we'll see. But anyway, it's just a nice change, and I had a really positive experience, which is great because when I went to the salon last year to get um. I had like layers put in it and I had a colour put in it. They, I went to a salon in East London, a natural hair salon, and the lady just basically um, just did whatever she wanted to on my hair. I was like, you know, I'd like it to be this shape, I want it this colour. She didn't even really listen to the colour, she just started putting on the dye as soon as I came in. And for, as for the shape, she was cutting my hair before I even explained the kind of shape that I wanted. The end result was good, but, or, you know, pretty good, it was decent but I would like to have more input in my hairstyle. So anyway, I thought, oh my God, what's gonna happen this time? Because I'm going back to the salon now that I used to go to when I used to relax my hair. It's a salon in South East London. And it was really nice. There was a trainee there, I think, who, first of all, when she was combing my hair, she started combing it without putting any product on it, any conditioner. And she was combing it from the roots and not from the ends. So I had to say, well, could you put some conditioner in it? Could you comb it from the ends? I'm probably the worst person to go to a salon because I'm so used to doing my own hair now, it's like, I'm like, you know. Aside from that, when the um, head stylist did my hair, she was so good. She was like, oh, you know, your hair is um, much fuller than it was when it was relaxed. I was like, okay. And she goes, oh yeah, your, your curly hair really suits you. And she was saying like different styles that I could do. I mean, there's things that I do anyway, but it's nice that she was, you know, giving me suggestions like, you know, plaiting it sleeping overnight and then taking out in the morning and that kind of thing and they use Mazzani products there as well which is good because I know the shampoo is sulfate free and I know they're supposed to be a bit geared to more natural products I believe I think they use shea, more shea butter and that kind of thing I'm going to read the actual ingredients to double check but that's a step in the right direction so I had a good experience there and yeah I'm happy with the results so I'm just going to use this as a um, lens check as well so I can see in a few months you know how many how many inches I've retained. I know the colour on the ends it's kind of slowed that process down a bit because I've had to do a few extra trims because the ends have been quite dry. So I'm just I'm gonna lay off the colour for a little while, maybe redo the highlights next year and then for now just concentrate on growth. So let me just do a quick length check. So the hair on the side it's just gonna be a visual one. The hair on the side is, let's see, about midway down my neck. Yep, the hair in the front goes to my chin. The hair on top goes to, this is the top. Goes to a couple of inches below my ear, and the hair at the back. She cut it about an inch and a half off the back actually, just because I think the back grows faster. So there was a little bit of hair that was like much longer than the rest. So let's see. The hair at the back goes to not quite collarbone. The hair on the back goes to let's say. Okay, just about collarbone, I'd say. Yeah, just about collarbone for the hair on the back. So we'll see. Um, we'll see how much length I've retained the next time I do this. I can see from the colour here that it's grown about six inches anyway. So that's what I expect. So it should go from here to about here. Give or take a couple of inches for trims and stuff like that. So anyway, I just wanted to share that experience with you. I'm really happy I had a positive experience at the salon. I was dreading it, but it was good. And I will go back there just every once in a while to do 
maybe a style for a special occasion but other than that I'm going to be rocking my curly hair this straight hair is already I can see going to be a lot of work and what else yeah I don't do heat styling often this is probably this is the second time yes yeah, se the third time actually I've used heat on my hair since um I did my chop um, two years ago so yeah I hardly do use heat styling I prefer to stay away from it but every once in a while I think it's okay as long as you take the precautions you know deep condition your hair use heat protectant use it for like lower heats as much as you can but yeah that's just a few little guidelines so anyway I hope this helps maybe use a few ideas maybe you might want to try out a different style sometime so anyway um, that's it for now take care and thanks for watching bye